In today's video, I'm going to tell you about the problem this app can't run on your PC, why it appears and how to fix it, and about smart screen function, which can be one of the causes why you see such a message, why Windows has such a function and how it can be configured or disabled. If you see such a message, it means there is a compatibility error. The application you are trying to install is incompatible with the operating system Windows 10. For example, if you try installing an, an older version of the program developed for an earlier version of Windows, say Windows XP. In this case, you can try running this application in the compatibility mode. To do it, right-click on it, select Properties, Compatibility, and then choose either Run Compatibility Troubleshooter. Uh, which will search for problems and suggest you to try recommended settings, or, if you know for which version of the operating system it is intended, check the box next to Run this program in compatibility mode for and select the appropriate version of the operating system. Then click Apply and try starting the program. Otherwise, you can go to the official website of such program and try to find a newer version compatible with your operating system. If it doesn't help, return to Compatibility tab and check the box next to Run this program as an administrator. That's because you may have this problem if you don't sign in as administrator. Check this opportunity, and if it really happened that way, switch to the administrator account and try installing the program again. You can run a program as an administrator by right-clicking on it and selecting Run as administrator. If the program can't be solved that way, check the bitness of your operating system. If you are using the 32-bit Windows and try to run a 64-bit version of the program, the error should have been expected. Similarly, if you are trying to install a 32-bit program onto a 64-bit Windows 10, this error may also take place. You can check this aspect by opening the computer's properties. Go to File Explorer, right-click on this PC and select Properties. You can find this information in the line System Type. If the program comes from BitNess, there is only one solution. You've got to find the proper version of the necessary application and install it. Other causes of the problem may be incompletely downloaded program or viruses. Try downloading the application again or do it from a different source. There is a special video on our channel about removing viruses. And if you see a notice saying this operation has been cancelled due to restrictions in effect on this computer, please contact your system administrator. This application is most likely disabled. Watch another video on how to fix it. Find all the links below this video. Sometimes the error notice this app can't run on your PC can be false. That's why, if the advice I have given you in this video didn't help you and you still face this error, and you still need to run this app despite the warning, Try disabling Smart Screen Filter. To do it, click on the Start menu, go to Settings, Update and Security, Windows Defender, open Windows Defender Security Center, App and Browser Control. Here, disable Check app, Apps and Files, Smart Screen for Microsoft Edge, and Smart Screen for Microsoft Store Apps by checking the Off option. After that, files and apps will not be checked anymore. You can try disabling the filter with Registry Editor and with Local Group Policy Editor. To open the registry, press the key shortcut Windows plus R and type regedit. Before doing anything to the registry, remember that your actions can have irreversible consequences. Windows may begin working with errors, some apps or programs may not be able to start, the operating system can crash or have problems when booting. Before you start modifying the registry, I recommend creating a backup, just in case. You can watch one of our videos to see how to do it properly. Find the link in the description. You'll have to create a file in the registry and to do it follow the path HK Local Machine, Software, Policies, Microsoft, Windows, System. Right click and select from the menu New DWORD 32 bit value. Name it Enable Smart Screen. Open it and set the value as 0 and then click OK. Now close the registry editor and restart the system. After that, Smart Screen will be disabled.
To enable it, just delete this file from the registry by right-clicking on it and selecting the Delete option. If editing the registry is a difficult task for you, you can create a registry, a registry key. I've already shown you how to create such a file in the video on Task Manager, so you can find the link in the description as usual. To disable Smart Screen, type the following code. To enable Smart Screen again, the code is different. The first code creates an Enable Smart Screen registry file, while the second code removes the file. Unfortunately, you can't use Local Group Policy Editor in Windows 10 Home Edition, but in other versions, just press Windows plus R and type gpedit.msc. The Local Group Policy Editor window will open. Then go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Windows Defender Smart Screen. There are two sections, Explorer and Microsoft Edge. Each of them contains a policy setting, Configure Windows Smart Screen, that allows you to enable or disable the filter. Open it, set the value to Disabled and click Apply, then OK to save the changes. Repeat the same steps for Microsoft Edge. After saving the changes, close Local Group Policy Editor and the Smart Screen filter will be disabled. After you install the necessary application, don't forget to turn the smart screen on. With the disabled filter, your system is vulnerable to threats, and when the filter is on, you'll improve its security. Smart screen can also be disabled in Microsoft Edge. For that matter, go to the menu – Settings – View Advanced Settings – and scroll down until you see Help protect me from malicious sites and downloads with smart screen filter, and disable it. If you see errors again, the problem must be in the application itself, not in the filter.